hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is jasmine and this is my season now um i have another word on my heart right and that is nobody who walked away from you or left your life was meant to be in your life there is is somebody who is like you know you kind of heartbroken or you and your feelings a little bit because somebody don't want to be your friend no more or that guy left you or that girl left you but god was just like i know what i'm doing and he said there's nobody who left your life because we can we can feel like um we missing something because a certain person is not in our life no more but god told me like there's nobody who walked out of your life who is meant to go with you into this new chapter and as i was as god put this on my heart he said separation before elevation he said separation before elevation he said there's just some people who i have to pull out of your life and i know it feels uncomfortable right it feels uncomfortable because we are literally creatures of habits right so that means that once we get into a habit of something once we get used to doing something once we get used to being around a certain person it kind of like makes us very uncomfortable when change comes but that's the key god is literally changing things in our life and it, it it may be a little uncomfortable but listen it's separation before elevation i came to let you know that you're going somewhere you're going somewhere and it's just certain people who can't go with you it's somebody who is literally fighting the will of god for your life because you're trying to hold on and keep people in your life who then showed you numerous of times that they don't mean you no good. They don't really love you. But due to the fact that letting them go feels so uncomfortable. Due to the fact that letting them go, you scared of being alone. But God said, you never alone as long as you got me, baby. I'm your best friend. I'm your father. God said, I'm, a, God said, I'm the father to the fatherless. I, I am the father to the fatherless. It's a, the devil is a lie when he tried to tell you, you ain't got nobody, you ain't got no family, you ain't got this. God said, I'm the father to the fatherless and I'm the mother to the motherless. I remember one time, y'all, I was, I was dealing with rejection from my father, right? And that was the first time that God showed me that he was my daddy. God said, I'm your daddy. I, I'm your father. I created you. You my baby. I, I see, I care for you and I love you. It don't matter how short people on, on earth, how short they fall, because they gonna fall short because they human beings. It's some it's some grown people out here still hating their mama and daddy for things that they didn't do for them when they was a child. But God said, I'm your daddy. I'm the father to the fatherless. Glory to God. And as you put God in the place of your father, he's going to soften your heart. He's going to heal your heart from the hurt that you had to deal with from your childhood. It's literally grown people like in their 50s still dealing with hurt and rejection that happened to them as a child. And they're not able to they're not able to live their productive life. They're not able to live a, a productive adult life because of the things that happened to them as a child that's why the enemy starts while you're young the enemy make you feel rejected and unloved and, and put hate in your heart as a child and uh, and he try to um allow different things to happen to you right because he know that is as if i can plant these seeds in you as a child as you begin to grow up you know you're gonna have that fruit you're gonna be bitter you're gonna be angry you're gonna be an alcoholic because now you're drinking to to numb those feelings but ain't none of that the answer. When I say God is the answer, God said, I'm I'm your daddy though. Like, what are you talking about? And that's not even a part of my message. So maybe somebody just needed to know that God said he's the father to the fatherless, right? But the word that he put on my heart was, um, there and this is very there. I feel I feel like this is so specific for somebody who needs to hear it just the way that I'm gonna say it. He said, There's nobody who walked out of your life who is meant to be with you that god said that's not a mistake because it's somebody who is like this person left me but i'm finna keep trying to talk to them and pursue them and i i feel like i'm missing something because they gone god told me to tell you there is nobody who left your life there's nobody who broke up with you there's nobody who stopped talking to you there's nobody who who blocked you who is meant to go with you so just know that if they stop talking to you, they weren't meant to be. They're not meant to go where you're going. And a lot of y'all like, where am I going? You're going up. You're going up. You're going up. It's, God said it's separation.
vibration before elevation and elevation means you're going to another level <coughs> so i just had to release this word that's on my heart like because i know how it feels to be like you know you might be you might miss that person for a while or but you're gonna get accustomed to not having that person and it's gonna be like they was never even there in the first place give it to god Okay, and I think that's pretty much all I had to say was God was just like, it ain't nobody who, there's nobody who left you who was meant to go with you. God said they're just not meant for you in this season. And I just pray that this give somebody peace who needs it, right? Because the enemy can make you think like, you know, you missing something or you lost something because that person left. Like God is like, no, I'm taking you to another level and they can't go with you. So get out your feelings. I know it's uncomfortable because you like the way that person make you feel, right? You like the little emotions. You like how you feel when that person around you, you get butterflies and all this and that. And then when that person leaves, it's like, <laughs> it's almost like, you know, going to rehab, like your body got to detox from that, right? But I can not say this, you gonna shake back. You're going to recover. You're going to recover and you're going to recover better. When people go to rehab, they come out better. They get all that 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 negative um all them, them bad chemicals out of they out of their body. And it, it it is a it is a uncomfortable process, right? Because your body has grown <clears throat> your body has grown um what is it like you know, your body got used to having that, right? So now that you ain't getting your body what it's used to having, like, you might, you gonna feel some type of way. But, um, that's basically what I wanted to say was, let them go. Let them go so you can fully receive your elevation because they cannot go with you. God, y'all, when God gave me this word, a song came on the radio that said, this is my exodus. This is my exodus. Baby, let them make their exit and go on out your life. Let them go on. <laughs> right? God, and, and when, that, when that song came on, I heard God is closing doors. God is closing doors. I know we all be happy and excited about the open doors. It's open. God is opening doors. But God is closing doors as well. And it's some doors that we thought. We we thought. But God said your thoughts are not my thoughts. And your ways are not my ways. My thoughts are greater and higher than yours. You thought you needed that door. But God is about to show you your higher door. God has a bigger door. God has a bigger door for you. So let that door close. God said you've been depending on that door because you thought that door was what you needed. But no, let let the door close. So I love y'all so much. These are this is just what God, you know, put on my heart was he he shutting some doors. Shutting some some people, you know, might go. But I feel like this is for somebody who is like literally feeling like, you know, um they wish they had a certain person back in their life. But God is like, no. But let me tell you how the enemy works. When you start to see your promotion and your increase and your upgrade and your blessings, when you start to see them hit your life, you're going to start to see them same people who turn their back on you and left you try to come back. That's how the enemy going to work. But, um, but I love y'all so much. I pray that this word bless who it is for.